Oh, hey there. You're watching Unboxing Things, and I'm Jesse Janae, co-founder and CEO of Lumi. We're going to talk all about the box and not the product, because here at Lumi, we help brands with their unboxing and packaging experience. So let's see what brand is in my mailbox today. OK, OK. Uh oh, you guys, I have to read it. Oh my, oh my god. Okay. Oh, it's Beauty Counter. Beauty Counter is an incredible clean skincare and beauty line for men and women, and they primarily sell direct to consumer online through their website. And sneaking McSneakersons, they make me look really closely to determine who it's from. This is a strategy used by many brands because it not only saves money on the outside of the packaging, but it also makes it much less likely to be swiped. Because yes, guess what? We live in a dangerous, wild world, and e-commerce packages sometimes get stolen. Yes, stolen, okay? And things like cosmetics, shoes, expensive handbags are prime stealing material. So what we already know about Beauty Counter is they're pragmatic and they want me to receive my package safely and soundly. What else do we know? This appears to be a nice sturdy roll and tuck front type style box. I can see the little tabs locked into the bottom. I can see that it closes like this and has um, tabs that go into the front of the box. And it's closed with a nice simple piece of clear tape. I'm gonna grab my blade. I'm gonna open my box. All right. Ooh. Here we can see that they did choose to customize the inside of the box. Now, they still went with a craft, craft box, meaning the box is craft on the outside, craft on the inside, instead of being a white color or something like that. But even with the craft, craft, they went and customized and printed the inside of the box. It's a nice dark navy blue color, if you can't tell, and it says, beauty should be good for you. B, beauty counter, beautycounter.com. I feel beautiful just receiving the box. I like how they're putting forward a strong brand message right when I open the box. Beauty should be good for you, it makes me feel special, it also kind of prepares me for what I'm about to receive. What else do I see right when I open the box? Well, I see this craft paper void fill. This is efficient because it can be recycled alongside the box itself. It's also economical. There's a couple pieces of that before I get to my product. The product has actual color on it, on the product packaging. This is a beautiful carton box, as is this. Both of them have their own color and branding, some nice foil stamping on there as well. And these really add a pop and sizzle. I think it's very intentional. The product itself has a nice bold color, but the box is just craft with simple messaging. It allows the product to pull my focus and be the interesting thing when I unbox the package. Below the product is also a nice beautiful card. It says beauty without excuses, beauty counter. And it actually thanks me for my purchase. It also talks to me about their safety policies. Ooh, the founder Greg Renfrew actually signed this. P.S. You need to check out Counter Match Adaptive Moisture Lotion if you haven't already. It's my favorite. Greg is a doll. She's helping me realize what her favorite product is and recommending something to me. They're also giving me something for free in here. Beauty Counter Overnight Resurfacing Peel. My face could use a peel. Full stop. So this isn't exactly part of their packaging, but it's part of the whole unboxing experience, the fact that I get a free sample of a product that I didn't order, which makes me feel like they care about not just what I ordered from them or what I paid for, but they care about bringing me into the brand and helping me experience something else that I might enjoy. So Greg's recommending something, they also put something else in my box. I feel like they're really helping me understand their product line. In the bottom, there's also a pack slip. This pack slip shows me what I ordered. Mm -hmm and make sure that I understand everything that's in my box. And then also, it gives me a res return service slip. If I need to return anything, I can actually just cut this off, pop that right on the outside of my box, and boom, my return is easy to process. This is just your standard eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, which means this is very inexpensive. Again, no money is being wasted on something that you can't use. They're utilizing this piece of paper fully. On the back is more return instruction and information if I need that. The pack slip, the void fill, the box itself, all can just be thrown in my blue bin for easy recycling. The only thing that I'll need to keep is my product itself. And these carton boxes that come on the outside of the product are also recyclable. So all the packaging that Beauty Counter has sent to me is fully recyclable. Okay, you guys weren't here to experience this, but the, this package actually has a soft touch finish. So they're really putting in some nice TLC on these carton boxes. This one is soft touch. This little guy has a foil stamp on it. So they're showing me that on the product itself, they really want me to experience a premium feel. Greg and I, same wavelength. I didn't even realize it, but I did order the moisturizer she recommended. 
when I get to the bottom of this box, there's a message. It says, please recycle this box. So they're really encouraging me to do the behavior that they want to see in the world. And they're rippling that through by making everything recyclable in the first place, but then also reminding me to do so. Let's take this box apart. You know how I live a good, true, full unboxing, but the box itself gets unboxed. Now this is a pretty standard die line. A die line is the actual kind of file being used to produce the box and it speaks to the construction of the box. Again, we have a roll and tuck front box here. And you'll see that it has this normal construction. These flaps are used to secure it in place. There's a slot in here that keeps everything together. And this is front and back craft craft with one color navy blue printing on the inside. That's pretty much it for the beauty counter unboxing and honestly I'm totally cool with that because the simplicity really comes through in making this an elegant experience. You know what time it is, time to roll in the recap. So beauty counter packaging is really great for a lot of reasons but I picked my top three. First up, it's no fuss. I really mean it. Have you guys been to a traditional beauty counter? There's things being sprayed at you, there's glitter everywhere, there's shiny stuff, there's mirrors. You have to see yourself instantly in them. Freaks me out, okay? This beauty counter experience is very different. It's fuss free, easy to open, everything's recyclable. That makes it enjoyable. Next up, economical. What do I mean by that? I mean from the box to the void fill to the postcard, it's all very well done, but they went with affordable options, which means that all the money is going to the product you actually purchased. And thirdly, it's elegant. Now I know what you're saying, how can it be economical and elegant? That's the beauty of it, people. They put in a lot of intention and made an elegant experience that I really enjoy, even though they're not overspending. That is Beauty Counter Unboxed.